Threads can be a little bit confusing. In this video, several students and I act out what a thread does by using some examples. In this example, what we're going to find is that a blue ball means that a thread is blocked and cannot do work. An orange ball, of which there is only one, means that the CPU is allocating this thread to do some work. When a thread holds this orange ball, it can do some work, but only the thread holding the orange ball. We also use a yellow ball to indicate wait and notify. In other words, one thread waits until it gets notified, and the notification is it receives the yellow ball. In addition, we have a baseball and one of these um, red noses. Uh, that represents a semaphore that we'll use if we're going to enter a synchronized block. A synchronized block means that one thread has exclusive access to this block from the time it starts till the time it finishes. Nobody else can come in and interrupt that, that thread's work within that block. So let's take a look at the example. We go. Okay, so what we're going to do is look at some threading examples. Now the rule is this. Uh, I want you to all start where you are. You can only move forward if you have the orange ball. Now I'm the CPU and I decide which thread runs because that's what the CPU does. The orange ball is on loan from my dog checkers as are the other blue balls and the yellow ball. So uh, I'm going to hand you the orange ball and I want you to slowly walk forward and then if there's a sheet in front of you, pick up the sheet, read it aloud, okay? And read the instructions aloud. So, sorry. We'll go ahead and start with Bradley. Go ahead, walk. you can walk all the way up to that. Yeah, Yeah. so pick up the sheet, read the sheet. Wait, you are blocked because you are in the wait state. Pick up the blue ball, wait for a yellow ball to notify you. When you receive the yellow ball, drop the blue ball. Okay, so go ahead and hand the orange ball back to me. Because, see, you're blocked now. He's holding the... He's holding... The, uh, the blue ball, which means he's blocked until he gets notified something else. Okay, um, Patrick, you are thread one, priority one, right? Yeah. Which is the lowest priority. It seems like that should be highest, but it's actually lowest. Okay, uh, Matthew, you're priority 10, correct? Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, that's the highest priority thread. So, I give you the orange ball. Go ahead and walk forward a little bit, and then pick up the paper. Yep, there we go. What does the paper say? You want to give an opportunity for another thread to run, throw the orange ball back to the CPU, you might get it right back again. You never right. know. Perfect. So yield just means I'm going to give control back to the CPU and let the CPU pick somebody else. I could throw the ball right back, or I could pick somebody else. So I'm going to go ahead and pick somebody else. Go ahead and catch it. Sleep 9000. You are sleeping. Hand the orange ball back to the CPU. Pick up a blue ball and count to 9,000 milliseconds, or 9 seconds if you prefer. So you see, now we have two block threads, two threads holding blue balls, and so now I have three threads I can choose from and give the orange ball. I could give it back to, uh, I could give it back to the priority 10 thread, the highest priority thread, or I could pick one of these other threads. So we'll go ahead and pick same. Synchronize. You want exclusive access to the segment of code, grab the red nose wherever it is, don't let go. Yeah, so go ahead, there's a red nose right over here. Synchronized means I'm entering a unit of code where I cannot be interrupted. Uh, I mean, I can be interrupted, but nobody else can get into that unit of code while I'm there. So if I'm doing some kind of transaction, I have to complete this. No other thread can come into that same piece of code while I'm working on it. Now, you still have the orange ball. You can still walk, uh, but you're just in a synchronized block. So go ahead and, and go to the next sheet then. And you see it comes with a blue ball. Now that one I hand wrote, so hopefully my writing's legible. Save a video to disk, pick up the blue ball, and count to 10 as you're ready to disk. After 10 seconds, drop the blue ball. Okay, so while you have the blue ball, you can't have the orange, so go ahead and give me the orange back. Okay, and then we're going to go to Nikhil, the, the other thread. Now see, right now I have three block threads and two threads that are available to one. Go ahead. Synchronize. You want exclusive access to the segment of code, grab the baseball wherever it is, don't let go. Okay, so two threads now are locked. There we All go. Right, cool. Okay, perfect, thank you. So we can have two simultaneous synchronized blocks. So go ahead, you still have the orange ball, keep walking. Open a network connection, pick up the blue ball, and count to 15 as you wait for the reply. 
After 15 seconds, drop the blue ball. Okay, so you hit the blue ball. And by the way, those of you who are counting, if you've already reached nine seconds or 14 seconds, go ahead and drop the ball. That makes you available again. Okay, so I'm going to give the ball back to uh, priority one thread. Go ahead, keep walking forward. You no longer have the blue ball. Okay, what do we have here? Not a notify. You can notify a waiting thread that it can move, pick up a yellow ball, and throw it to the waiting thread. Okay, we have one thread that's waiting. It's the thread that's in the wait state. So go ahead and throw the yellow ball over to wait. Meanwhile, go ahead and toss me back the orange ball. Okay, wait, you're no longer waiting. So once I give you the orange ball, you can keep walking forward and you're all done. Thank you very much. Okay, um, yield, I can throw the ball back to you. But then at oh. any time, <laughs> you did that perfectly, because I was going to say at any time I can ask for the ball back. <laughs> which you just gave me back. Okay, so we're going to go on. You've dropped your your blue ball, which means you're available again. So go on, move forward, read what's on the next sheet. Synchronize. Do you want exclusive access to the segment of code? Grab the baseball wherever it is. Don't let go. Uh, no, 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 no. Keel, what are your instructions? Don't let go. Please. Don't let go. Okay. So see, now you're blocked because you're waiting for that other lock. So go ahead and give me back your orange. See, you can't do anything until you get that other lock. So I'm going to give this to Nikhil, who's not holding the blue ball. I want it. <laughs> and what's Nikhil going to say? Synchronize. You want exclusive access to a segment of code? Grab the red nose where it is. Don't let go. OK, now do you see what happens? We have two threads locked on each other because they both want access to the same semaphores or the same tokens. Therefore, they're both deadlocked. That's what causes a UI to freeze up. In Java, that basically is a cry that basically just freezes it. There's no way to get out of it. There's no timeout or anything like that. In Java, in Windows, if you have the command line handy, you can hold Control and press Break, and it will give you a list of what all of our five threads are doing right now. In Java 6 and greater, it will also try to tell you if it senses the two are locked. In Unix, that's kill-3 in the process ID. That will tell you when we get into this situation. But do you see how both Sam and Nikhil are blocked right now because neither of them, they're both waiting on each other's lock and neither one is going to give up the lock that they already have. Okay, so we have a deadlock situation, we have sleep, we have yield, we have wait and notify, and you see how notify was able to uh, communicate with another thread and say, now you're allowed to go. Good? Those are the major concepts of threading. Thoughts or questions? So how do you prevent that? Yeah. How do you prevent that? Uh, one of the answers I got on the quiz, uh, the question was, what, te what tends to cause a UI deadlock? And the answer is threading. A thread deadlock. I hope you enjoyed this live modeling of threading. In a future video, I'm going to do these same concepts, but actually in code, so that we can see how Java handles yield, sleep, wait, notify, and several of the other scenarios that we saw here. Thank you.